Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to uh, build a page and display a list of contacts from Salesforce. So first the app that you're looking at is based on a plugin that we have in Dixie platform and to um, use the plugin or import the plugin you'll go to create new from plugin and it's right here the Salesforce contacts API sample app so it's a ready to run app and you would just click this button to import uh, the plugin. So um, let's look at the service we're going to use. Again, we're going to build a page that displays the list of contacts from Salesforce. So the service is right here, get contacts. And as you can see, the URL is already set. Uh, and these parameters like URL, REST API version, they're coming from a special uh, setting service. Um, and the request parameters are also preset and the response is preset. So this is the structure, the JSON structure that um, we get from uh, Salesforce. So let's go ahead and create a new page. I'll go to create new page and uh, create page button. So we got a new page. Uh, let's quickly change the look and feel a little bit here. All right, and change this to Salesforce contact all right uh, I'm gonna drag and drop uh, a list component uh, it has three items um, by default but we just need one item because we're actually gonna loop um, based on the data we get from the service uh, and that's it for the UI part so we're in design I'm gonna switch to data and I'm gonna add a data source which is a service and this is the service I want to use so this means the service has been added to the page and next I would like to bind the service to the page so added mapping and you can see this is the request uh, for the service. So access token, I'm going to map to authorization. And this data is saved when you sign into Salesforce. I need to write a quick JavaScript here. So for the authentication and for the uh, instance URL is mapped to the URL. And finally, the Sokol, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, statement. like this all right so this is it for the input part I'm going to go now to response and again this is what I get uh, from Salesforce and this is my page so first name is going to be mapped to text uh, and then records this is the collection of all the contacts so I'm going to map records to the list and this is going to give me an automatic looping feature so we're done here I'm going to go back to design and I'm going to select screen um, and open events See, we can see screen is selected. We've got a load event and the action is invoke service. Uh, this is the service instance name. I'm going to click add event. The very last thing I want to do is I'm going to go to Salesforce sign in page and I'm going to update this navigate to page uh, event and uh, to navigate to this newly created page. And click save and then we're ready to run. I'm going to go to test and this will launch the app uh, in the browser. So now we're prompted to sign in into Salesforce and allow um, access. So we're signing in and here we go. We got a list of contacts from uh, Salesforce.